Hi everyone, this is Christian here on YouTube and welcome to this brand new video for the channel. Chris does the two minute strategy works in OTC. I have, I've actually mentioned this many times in the past, but this time I decided to actually show you instead of telling you. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna try to have a session right now with the two minute strategy in OTC, which means during the weekends. I'm gonna explain you a little bit more about what is OTC in just a little bit. So if you're new to my channel and you're into binary options, forex trading, crypto trading, or any type of making money online, this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and activate the notifications bell icon so that you get a notification for every new video that I upload. With that being said, let's jump into the video. people so here we are and i'm going to be using the iq option desktop platform uh if you guys want to actually uh, get your iq option account i'm actually going to have the link below in the description of this video yes it is an affiliated link so if you decide to open an account using that link i might get a small commission and um, just want to remind you that iq option does have a ten thousand dollar demo account right here which is 100 free and you can use it by opening an account you can refill it as many times as you want so that you can actually practice as much as possible so right now we're going to open all the pairs that are available with otc and we're going to find which one has a good opportunity to trade uh, otc for those of you who don't know it means over the counter and it's basically the trading style that it works during the weekends where uh basically it's kind of a mirror of a of what the market conditions were during the week uh it's not 100 advisable i just want to say that up front in case you didn't know if in case you think like i highly recommend it not 100 uh recommended but I do think that uh, you can use it to practice more than anything. Uh, in fact, that reminds me that I'm actually going to use my practice account because uh, we're just going to test during the weekend uh, these trades. Uh, right now, what we're going to do is that we're going to wait for opportunities to enter. We're going to respect the trend in this specific session. It might be longer than usual. So what is it? The first thing that we're going to do, we're going to identify the trend. This has no trend at all. Uh, it's in the middle, so it's kind of becoming a downtrend. Uh, I'm 100% sure it's going to happen within a few minutes. This was a downtrend, but now it's kind of becoming an uptrend. So we're going to wait on that. This is a clear uptrend. Uh, this is an uptrend as well. Uh, we're going to wait for this one to drop and then start jumping again so that we can enter a call option. This is becoming an uptrend as well, and this is a clear downtrend. So what we need to do right now is just wait. All right, it seems like there are not too many opportunities uh, to trade, but we're still waiting. One thing I wanted to let you guys know or tell you, okay, this, this is going to be a cool opportunity. Uh, let's enter with uh, $2,000, whatever. Remember, I'm using demo account because I'm trading during the weekend. And um, you should do the same. uh once this one expires the other one is going to start jumping and since it's an, an uptrend that's, that's exactly what we're looking at something like this if you guys want to know the exact settings in this specific strategy i recommend you to uh, type in two minute strategy on youtube you're gonna find a bunch of my videos where i show you them i'm actually gonna put somewhere in the corners uh a video with the ultimate settings so that you understand exactly how the strategy works. Is this the only entry opportunity we have? Okay, this is an uptrend, so now we know we're gonna wait for a put. This is going to uh, continue being a downtrend. So, uh, ooh, yeah, this is gonna continue being a downtrend. So I'm gonna enter as well for $2,000, but this one, I think is gonna be for like four more minutes. 
So let's just wait. This one is dropping already, so it's going to jump eventually. And once it does, we're going to enter. It should be one in the money just like this one right here. I think I'm going to open different uh, full windows at least. There you go. So that I know. All right. So right now, if you notice this one, uh, it's kind of battling to be uh, down or uptrend. I think for uh, 1824 is going to be good. This one is actually jumping, but once it crosses, it's exactly going to be like this one. Since this is an, a downtrend, what we're going to do is that we're just going to wait for it to actually jump a little more and then it's going to drop eventually. So what we're going to do is that we're going to enter for put. So we have one opportunity here and one right here once it starts jumping again. And this one right here is a good option. So I'm I'm actually going to enter for Oh, I'm sorry. I entered for Oh, I, I entered for 1824, but I should have entered for 1822. Okay. We're going to see it's going to be two candles. Uh not much we can do. Uh, it should be in the money anyway, so I'm just going to stick to it. Uh, 1820, uh, let me go ahead and, and get it. There you go. So that's going to be the one. Sorry about that, but you should have entered for 1822. Right now, this one, it seems like an entry point, and this is something you should be aware of. Even though it seems like an entry point, you shouldn't enter it there because it's, an uptrend, it's a downtrend. So that means that it's likely to be out of the money uh, for call options and it's likely to be in the money for puts. It's not 100% but it's actually to increase your winning chances. So let's uh, just wait right now. Alright, so for two minutes was out of the money. Um, so then I do think it's going to become an uptrend. Alright, we're just going to wait for a few minutes and see. If it if, if it's an out, an uptrend, then that's the reason why it was the out of the money. One thing I uh, noticed right here is that uh, this was a call option, but since it was an up uh, downtrend, it's still dropping. So it's gonna be out of the money. And whenever you actually see this, that uh, the blue line actually just crossed the the yellow line, but then it starts dropping, it is a good entry opportunity for a put. I'm gonna extend on that explanation just a little bit if it if it, if it's a good entry. So for instance, and it's the same thing right here. So for instance, whenever you actually get uh, you got the entry point right here for a put, right? But since there's an uptrend, it immediately changes its direction and it seems like the blue line is again going to cross the yellow line. That is a good entry point for a call and the opposite for a put. So we're going to enter right now. Once this these two minutes actually finish, we're going to enter in that position. This one looks like it's actually changing its trend and it's going to become a downtrend. And this one, it's a downtrend. So we're going to wait for the same scenario right here. Uh, I really hope this explanation makes sense, you know. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. We're 15 seconds away and I do think this is going to be a, a good example of it. So it's kind of like it touches, it crosses, but then boom, it retracts and it goes back in the other direction. That's basically because the trend is so strong. So right now, right now, uh, this one looks like a good ah, lagging again, really. I enter, I enter at the opening level. Do you guys see that? and then it automatically jump. Anyways, I'm gonna enter again. This is demo. So I'm just gonna measure the, the second entry, not the first one, because the first one kind of was kind of crappy with uh, actual uh, lagging or whatever. Uh, this one, we lost it, as I mentioned. And right now, what we're gonna do is just, we're just gonna wait for this one right here. This one is jumping, so I don't think it's actually going to uh, do what I'm telling you that it should do. This one is obviously becoming a downtrend now, and this one we're going to just wait. All right, so it's a great example of what I was telling you. Realize this. So again, I'm going to explain it again. Whenever there is an uptrend, right, you see that there is a put opportunity. You don't enter there. 
but when the actual line crosses, the moving average crosses, but then immediately it starts jumping. So it's a new crossover. That is a good entry point. Take a look at right now. I actually won the two positions. It was supposed to be only one. So it's going to count just like one, but this was the entry point and take a look at the actual jump on that candle. So we won one, we lost one on the same pair because I thought it was going to become a downtrend. And uh, here comes a good example, right? Don't guess that it's going to happen. No, wait and see what happens. So right now it's clearly becoming an uptrend again. So we're going to have more call opportunities on this one. I don't want to keep this video like super, super long. So we're just going to wait for one more opportunity uh and we're gonna see if we can enter this is gonna be clearly our next chance probably for the next two for the next four minutes i don't think it's gonna be for 18 uh 27 so let's just wait if you notice right now it this is actually repeating so it's dropping and it might jump back up I'm not going to take it because now it's too risky. It's good when it happens uh, in a clear uptrend or downtrend, but two times is kind of risky. So I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to wait for this pair. And this one, it's about to do exactly the same thing. It's going to jump a little bit and then it's going to drop after the cross. So I'm going to, I'm probably going to enter these two trades in the next few minutes. So let's just wait. All right. So I'm going to have to stop right there for two reasons. One, the latest put option for this pair was not respected and right now it's getting a hard time to actually uh, drop and just give me the freaking signal so that means that the pair is not respecting the settings now we see that the candlesticks are going over the 50 moving average which means basically that is going to become an uptrend or is not even sure about what's going to happen this one is a clear uptrend and it still had a hard time to actually cross the red line so it's not gonna be a good opportunity this one is becoming an uptrend so it's gonna take like 15 or 20 minutes before i actually get a new option but uh if we take a look at today's uh trades we actually had two ones uh which counts as one and one that was actually lost both on the same pairs now does this strategy works on ltc yes it works but i recommend you to do exactly what i did use a demo account and just practice it all right don't put in real money on otc because it's not the real market so it's impossible to predict what's going to happen while when you trade on, on regular weekdays monday through friday then you know that the market is real and you know how to predict the actual market so i hope this video really helps you but hey before you go, if you want to learn more deeper in regards to binary options and this strategy, I recommend you to go to blwtradingacademy.com and take my training uh, and become my uh, student, a part of my inner circle. I do cover uh, the two-minute strategy over there into my actual training. I have the two-minute strategy training right here. I have a uh, bonus content for a, fi a five minute strategy, which is the same one, uh, extra tips and so on. So I recommend you to go and check it out right there so that you can be part of it as usual. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you found value on it, make sure you smash the like button. If you practice during your uh, demo signals, uh, oh, this is an opportunity to take a look. <laughs> now it's too late. So practice on demo on OTC with the two minute strategy and you're gonna get better better and better so i hope this video really helps you and in case you guys have any questions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll be glad to answer those comments as soon as i can and thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button and i'll see you on the next one